Today seems like a good day for a mule deer hunt, but not in Call of the Wild this time. This time we're back in the Hunter Classic, and we really need to continue with the Summer Fiesta missions because it's already halfway through August, and I'm actually not 100% sure about this, but I think the missions expire at the end of the month, so we really gotta get through these, but last time we managed to get our 170 white tail, and this time we're gonna need a 200 scoring mule deer, of course with a vertical bow again, and we do need to get it here on Logger's Point. Now, between Loggers Point and Timbergold Trails for the two maps that have Mule Deer, I would definitely say Loggers is the more difficult one to get trophies, though it is more open, so maybe that'll actually play to our advantage. But unfortunately, just a tiny little buck to start with, though my plan is actually to fast travel, so we'll claim him and actually do that. And I don't think anything else was coming in, so we should be good. He grunted, like, on the edge of render, so anything else in the area should have been able to get here in, like, the same amount of time, but... We started down at the lodge there, and I want to actually fast travel here by the crater, because I don't do it much, and it's actually a fairly decent spot for both deer species, so nothing really calling, but we might kind of wander into the crater, and then I think what I want to do is actually kind of go up this way, we'll kind of see if we see anything. This is really starting to become a much bigger detour than I'd like. We have a track here from an 85 to 100 kilo whitetail, and I can't just not track a max white whitetail. So I really want to at least find out what he is, and they're fairly fresh tracks, and he's kind of down here near the shore, so he can't be that far ahead of us, and hopefully we can at least see him here soon. Oh, hang on. Really? I knew that track looked heavy. There's an 80 to 100 down here as well? Surely they gotta be somewhere not too far ahead of us. Now I kind of want to find both, and this is supposed to be a mule deer hunt. We gotta be careful we don't Spook that towards the deer. I wonder if they're in calling range? Because this is going to slow us down to wait till it gets by us. Okay. I guess that's the 80 to 100, and he got kind of up and around like that. The only good news is, I would say it's likely the heavier one that we were tracking, or I guess higher estimate one. He's not necessarily heavier. He probably shouldn't have spooked, because likely he would have spooked the one that just grunted. But at least we can hopefully take them out maybe a little more quickly since they're not together, or at least it's not likely they are. Ooh, he's actually not too bad looking. 145 to 170, I mean, hopefully he's the smaller of the two. But even still, it's probably worth it. Try to see if we can drop him. And I'm going to just get down here and wait a second, just in case, because his track was older, actually, at the time we picked it up, then the 85 to 100, so just in case, we'll be really slow here, because the other could be coming in, though if he is, he's still a decent distance away, because we can see a little better from up here, but I mean, 89 kilos is not a bad weight, and 154 is solid, like I said, hopefully he's the smaller of the two, and we'll get down here and Hopefully pick up his track and get him quickly, because we're supposed to be hunting the other species of deer on this map. So that was kind of unfortunate. We saw him, and he definitely wasn't big, but we didn't even get to take him out after tracking him for that long. But I decided to fast travel, and I don't know how I got in this tower with this coyote so close, because I just got here, but we'll get him out of the way. And I want to sit here and call for a minute, because it's always been a good spot for mule deer. And I think that might be a mule deer doe. But yeah, I mean, I want to wander around this area, and I figure the best thing to do since we just kind of got here is sort of call and see what's around. You know, I think it might be best that we try to take this doe and actually get out of here before the others get too close. Because, especially in a tower, I just don't really see it very likely that we're going to get all of those without spooking them. And then they're going to go and spook other things, so I'm going to try to get that doe and the coyote. And my plan is to go kind of northish anyway, so that would be away from them. And rather than just sending them all running and spooking other things, hopefully we can just kind of get out of here without that issue. So our coyote wasn't all that special anyway, but we made it this far without spooking them. And I think I just want to go up towards this deployable tower, so I think we're probably good. They're definitely not going to spook in front of us, but I'd like to just not spook them in any direction just in case. Man, we must have been like just a little bit too late getting to that tower because it's literally right there. And there's tracks that are about 40 minutes old, right over here. And it's a whole group of mule deer, so I hope we can find them. And maybe our 200 will be waiting there. 
That guy looks pretty big. I think there's a really good chance that's way over 200. I don't even need to say there's a chance. Not the one that we were spotting, it's that one there. 220 to 250, oh my goodness. I haven't seen a max quest on Mule Deer in so long. And this tower's been here for years, and I've almost never had a really, like, legitimate reason to have it. I've never been happier to have a good, like, structure to have a view from. I do wonder about the brush there. I think you can see over it. That guy looked huge. I don't know about the main beams, but, I mean, we know from the score estimate, if we get him with the bow, we're good. He's way over 200. He looks so good. We gotta be careful, because in tree stands in this game, deer can, like, stand under you for a long time and not spook. They won't do that in towers. In towers, they'll actually get under you and run off, so we might have to really rush our shot here. I mean, he's around 40, but everything's gonna spook. Can we just see him? I think that's gonna be single lung. He looks huge. I really wish I didn't have to reload my quiver right now. Because I think his beams and everything were good. We're going to try to mark where he ends up. That is unfortunate we had to rush that. I really hope he lands in a good like place we can take a trophy shot. But let's check the blood. Ah oh, man, so it's actually intestines. I'm not sure how we managed that, but that's way better than just a body hit. He'll go down in 2-3 minutes. So all we got to do is take our time. If we keep pushing him, he'll run for a long time. But if we let him just kind of bed down, he'll be done in, like I said, a couple of minutes. And we know a good chunk of what he ran already. I think we probably gave our other one long enough. And that's that other big bug. He won't come into a call, but I think we're just going to try to get him. Because we should be done with that mission anyway. Should bring him down pretty quickly, I would think. Yeah. Alright. So, our other one probably is out that direction as well. And... Man, I can't wait to get a better look at that rack, but everything I saw points to a really high score. Oh, no way. He's actually dead there. Oh my goodness. That looks huge. I don't want to jinx anything, but if I've ever seen a mule deer that I think really could score over 240, it's that one. And like I said, I'm trying to be careful I don't jinx anything. 170 is a nice buck, and we're just ignoring that. The only thing I see is I think we're losing a little bit of width and there might be some deductions there that can maybe knock him down just below it because he's not perfectly even that left antler kind of curls in more a little bit that's they don't land better than that normally if there is no grass it would be a heck of a screenshot but fingers crossed for this to be really really good 229 only man I was sure he was bigger than that I mean that's got the mission done and that's still a really nice buck, but... Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even see that huge sticker, by the way. That's a really cool rack, though, with that huge sticker there by his brow tine. And he's got another one just coming off the main beam, but I think that's going to be a pretty good trophy shot. Okay, so I got to stop the video really quickly and talk about the score of this guy, because for the longest time, I thought that the stickers on the antlers basically meant nothing. I thought they just kind of weren't counted. But I didn't realize that they actually do go towards your deduction so even though the stickers look really cool that's actually costing us a 240 he would have been I think 241.101 with no stickers so yeah I just wanted to mention that because I've been thinking wrong the entire time the stickers actually lower your score this went a good bit better than our whitetail hunt our first attempt and we got it done I mean we haven't even shot that much because we spent so much time tracking that whitetail to begin with and we didn't even shoot it um I guess just kind of work our way up through here and see if we can find anything else. So I fast traveled just kind of to get away from where we had just taken a gunshot and probably sent a bunch of other bucks that we didn't see fleeing ahead of us. And I guess at some point while I was walking over here, I spooked another Maxway Whitetail. And I guess it's a lot more okay to go on a Whitetail detour now that we actually got our mule deer. But I definitely want to try to find it. Like I said at the beginning, I can't just leave a Maxway Whitetail. I think we're spotted. I can't believe he sees us, but he's 170 to 190 something, that said? 95? There's no way we're gonna get up and uh, get a shot in time. I didn't realize he was there, though. And I'm surprised he saw us just laying there. Like, the only thing that caught my attention 
was he, I guess, turned his head to look at us? I don't know. Is he a 7x7? I think so. If he was an 8x8, he'd easily be 180s with that frame, but I think we're going to get stuck in the 170s with him. Yeah, 177, I mean, not bad. Definitely a good buck and worth the quick track, but had he had all of his times, he really could have been good, but to be honest, that might be my best, like, combo of Mule Deer and Whitetail in the same hunt ever. I mean, that totals to just over 400. I'm pretty sure I've never done that, but I think it might be about time to wrap this hunt up. Uh, we definitely just kind of blew out another area by using the rifle again, but I didn't want to track him further, and I guess maybe had I seen an estimate going up to over 200, we could have taken him with a bow, but I'm pretty happy to just take him with a gun, especially for the score he was. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.